Few would argue with the point that scammers are getting more and more tricky. Truth be told, though I like to think that I'm pretty savvy at spotting them, I was nearly suckered by one just last week. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Before we get to the fugitives, scams and scammers are getting way more devious. Well, well, first of all, I'm glad that you weren't totally suckered, so we're not talking about you being the victim. It was close, though. It was close. Yeah, it, it's right. It, even I've received them. I received an the email last week also telling me that my uh, Amazon account had to be updated. Right. So it just you look for stuff, first of all, that's not right. Number one, these institutions are not going, if it's coming from an institution, they've already got all your basic information. Right. So a little stuff like it wasn't the email address that was that came through that was associated with the account. We're, we see people more and more, it is the fastest growing crime every single day. And it's all over these gift cards. And we all want to remind the viewers that nobody asks for fines to be paid right. and gift cards. No no government agency is going to ask for a bail bond to be paid for in gift cards. And uh, if there are links it, in the email. It looks at, yeah, don't click on it. Check verify because yeah. a lot of it they're phishing to get into your computer or get your personal information. Absolutely crazy. Be careful. Just, and and just one careful. thing with that too is just they will prey on people's emotions. Um, they will yes. call up and they'll pretend to be a grandson and it's we, we've seen um, elderly people get taken for this, thinking they got to go ahead and get somebody out of jail and get conned into buying a couple thousand dollars worth of gift cards. Yeah, and so it, be careful. Just just be careful. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, let's well, talk reason, about the, the reason uh, we're here, too. Yeah. The reason we're here. We've got, we got some wanted people that I'm hoping your viewers know. You have got some, yeah. and one of these guys we saw just last week, this is yeah. Donald Lee Brown. Yeah, we wanted to profile him again. We're really trying to find Donald Lee Brown. He is wanted on a parole retake warrant. Uh, he's originally, uh, he actually served uh, prison time in a carjacking case and was released on parole. And now he, they want him back. He's possibly in the Salisbury area, but we're pretty confident that he is on the Eastern Shore. So if anyone knows where Donald Lee Brown is, call Crime Solvers right now. Talk to us about Brett Michael Dilworth. Brett Dilworth, we have four warrants for him, all in connection with a violation of probation in cases where you've already been convicted of theft. We last know him to have an address in Denton over for any of your viewers over in Caroline County. If anybody knows where Brett Dilworth is, it's really easy. Just call Crime Solvers and report his location. See if you recognize Shanna Marie Baker. Shanna Baker, uh, we believe her to be right here in Salisbury, and we have a warrant for her that was issued by the circuit court. She, was, she violated the terms of her pretrial release. So if anybody knows where Shanna Baker is, please call Crime Solvers right now. This is Patrick Castor. Patrick Castor, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. And we want him on a district court bench warrant that's issued where he violated the terms of his probation in the case where he'd already been convicted of a felony assault. See if you recognize Paul Axel Calderon. Paul Calderon, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. And we want him on a bench warrant that was issued in a case. He's already been convicted in a, and he's already been convicted of CDS possession. He was put on probation and he's done something to violate that probation and he's got to be back in front of the court and we're having trouble locating him. And this is Samuel Kevin Jones. Yes, Samuel Jones, we profiled him recently. We did get a couple tips, but we have not closed in on him. We believe him to be in the Fruitland area for any of your viewers in that neck of the woods. And we have four circuit court bench warrants that were issued. Uh, two were issued when he failed to appear in two separate drug uh, possession cases. Um, he also has two violation of probation cases where he already been convicted of theft and assault cases. All right. So uh, these pictures are, all, in case you didn't get a good shot yeah. at everybody, these are available on your website. Yeah, they'll on they'll, your be, on the, they'll be on the sheriff's office on social media sites. And I think that Dunmarva Life maybe put them uh -huh. on. Yep, yeah. so we do. There's plenty of places to look at them if you think I want to take another look at them. But the important part is the number. Yeah, the number. Because we take tips any way we can get them. But unless that tip comes through Crime Solvers, then Crime Solvers, that's how they pay out the money. They're, that's the right. way the whole system works. So you've got to call Crime Solvers. It's 410-548-1776. It's really easy. You pick up the phone, you call that number. Crime Solvers will take the information. They guarantee anonymity. And they'll get us the, then they get the information to us. And they'll answer the phone yes. right there. 24 hours a day. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, thank you for everything that you do.